As the saying goes, you never truly know someone until you meet them in person. And at long last, I finally have the great honor of meeting you today. My name is Yunjin, and I am humbled to be the director of the Yunhan Opera Troupe. We have been performing at Ha Yu Tea House as of late, and we'd be honored to have you attend a performance sometime. Oof. My waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. Ah, <sighs> yes. I shall spare myself the hair and makeup routine today, and happily idle my time away. Yun Chan Juan Lai Hua Chan Juan Fung Liu Jin Zai Shan Shui Jin Did you hear that? Oh, it really startled me. What a sight to behold, the sun so warm and radiant. Good morning. The dew at dawn is perfect for brewing tea, so I made some for you. Drink up, and then we'll head off. <sighs> I'd like to indulge in a nap after lunch. Uh oh? You're not tired? Let's go listen to tonight's storytelling performance together. Liu Su's rendition of Ring of Raining Blades is most sublime. There's a chill in the air tonight, so you mustn't stay out late. <laughs> Good night. My schooling started very early. In fact, my earliest memories are of my father teaching me to read. Despite my best efforts, my ability is not half of his. Enough to write operas, but compared to his level of erudition, I still have much to strive for. In her youth, my mother was a famous opera singer in Liyue Harbor, and I learned all the operas I know from her. But you could never imagine how strict she was with me as a teacher. Thinking back on it now, I... <sighs> no, no, no. I'd rather not think about it at all. We have some grand performances coming up soon, and it just so happens that we have an opening for someone to play the part of a skilled sword fighter. I think you'd be a perfect match for the part. How about it? Would you like to join our troupe? We can even enjoy some tea together in between acts. Huh? You like rock and roll? Oh, that's great. I'll be sure to bring you along the next time I go out to see a show. And when I get back, I can just tell the senior troop members that I went out to visit you. <laughs> that way, they won't have any reason to get on my case about going out. Hmm? My vision? <laughs> I suppose the Lord of Geo must be a fan of the opera. Perhaps the old man was so delighted with my performance that he decided to grant me a vision. One of my absolute favorite pastimes is trying out all kinds of new beverages. I've already tried all the sophisticated-sounding drinks that previous generations came up with. You know, like pine nectar tea and snow blossom tea. I'm beginning to worry that I'll run out of new drinks to try soon. You don't happen to have any recommendations, do you? Sometimes, I just feel like casting off my opera costume and going traveling overseas. You know... To explore the outside world. For now, I'll need to keep working hard at what I'm doing, so someday that dream can come true. <sighs> the chirping of the songbirds at daybreak always puts me in the best of moods. The elders of the troop are always harping on about rock and roll being a bad influence. Needless to say, they never approve of me going to see Xin Yan's shows. It's for your own good, they say. <laughs> All it's really about is their inability to accept anything new. Whatever, those old fogies can't tell me what to do. I'm going to keep rocking out at Shin Yan's gigs, every week, and that's that. Ah, yes, Hu Tao. Very expressive face, and she has a sharp mind, too. 
You can be discussing the most mundane thing in the world, and she'll always bring out a string of witty remarks. I admire her a lot. There's never a dull moment when you have friends like her around. The customs of the opera are very particular, and are passed down from generation to generation. Sometimes, I find that I only know the hows, but not the whys behind what we do. But when speaking with Zhang Li, it is abundantly evident that he knows the origins behind almost everything. Who wouldn't be delighted to have such a connoisseur in their audience? The Tianchuan is a big spender, and has made several very generous donations to our troop. I can only return her generosity by delivering my best possible performance. Oh, so you are also acquainted with Xingqiu? <laughs> he is quite the clever one, and with a sharp wit as well. The moment you let your guard down, you're at risk of becoming the butt of one of his practical jokes. Don't say I didn't warn you. I have long since known the divine damsel of devastation, inside out, back to front, but it was only very recently that I learned that the divine damsel in question is actually a real person. Life is full of strange twists sometimes. My only hope is that she can find true friendship and never be lonely again. I have yet to see the Yu Hung ever attend an opera performance. Now that I think about it, Whenever I happen to see her out on the street, she always seems to be in a great hurry. Kaidahara Kazaha is among the many outlanders who enjoy Li Yue opera. Whether it's an orchestral section or a percussive piece, he always sits there and listens quietly. <sighs> Talk about great manners. Many of the operas we've been performing recently are new ones that I wrote after assuming the directorship of the troupe. I suppose the fact that I can both write and sing my own material has contributed to my rising popularity in Liyue Harbor. Per the tradition, actors must wrap their hair, put on full face makeup and an elaborate costume, and make all sorts of other preparations before they take the stage. There's no doubt that an opera star in full attire looks spectacular, but achieving this look is frightfully exhausting. So I perform without hair and makeup whenever I have the option, and if I must perform in full dress, I try to select a costume that isn't too heavy. Fortunately, the good folks at Hallyu Tea House are quite lenient with us. Otherwise, we'd be working ourselves to early graves. At the start of my opera career, I have to say, I did let the standing ovations from our audiences go to my head a little. It wasn't long before I developed a captious attitude. If I didn't like the script, or if the stage was too small, or if I thought there weren't enough people in the audience, I would refuse to perform. <sighs> Looking back now, it was all terribly arrogant of me. My goodness. I shall never let myself become so vain again. Now that I think about it, the Yunhan Opera Troupe has been under my leadership for quite some time now. Before taking it over, I only knew two things, how to write opera and how to perform it on stage. I never gave any thought to how to run a troupe. Becoming the troupe's director gave me a crash course in this unfamiliar area, and I've experienced all the highs and lows of working with people along the way. Only now do I understand that life mirrors opera, just as opera reflects life. Well, you know, many of Li Yue's legends are centered around stories of gods and the Adepti, so most operas focus on the supernatural too. A prime example would be The Divine Damsel of Devastation, which we have been performing recently. Long-time opera fans adore this sort of material, but... In this age of humanity, I would rather like to tell stories about ordinary people. Yes, how grand it would be to sing about the hopes and dreams of ordinary people for all to hear. Oh, I've never shared these thoughts with anyone before. Thank you for listening so patiently. I'm fortunate to have a close friend like you. My hobbies? <laughs> well, opera, of course. It's what I truly love, and it's what I will be pursuing for the rest of my life. <sighs> well, 
As you can probably imagine, I always have to be mindful of what I eat and make sure I stay in shape. It's a shame, because the temptation to indulge in all the tasty delicacies the city has to offer is just as strong to me as to anyone else. Tianshu meat, blackback perch stew, cured pork dry hot pot. Oh, I just want them all. <sighs> Unfortunately, I basically never get to eat such things. But, um, if you don't mind me asking, can you cook any of those dishes? Oh, every day's the same. Stir-fried shrimp day in and day out. No matter how they prepare it, it always tastes the same. Ugh, ghastly. I really can't stand it anymore. Oh, so today's your birthday? Well, I wouldn't know how to throw you a feast if I tried. So, how about I sing you a song? For you alone, an audience of one. So, what song would you like to hear me sing? The choice is yours. As the saying goes, achievement in a field is the result of how hard you are willing to work at it, not how much you enjoy it. It looks like all my rigorous training is finally paying off. I began my training in the art of the spear, hoping to enhance my performance in stage combat. I stuck with it, hoping to master the techniques of self-defense. Today... It looks like I have finally achieved both of these goals. The art of the spear is a vast and profound discipline. There's an almost infinite number of things one can learn. I am glad to have had you by my side during my training. <laughs> I believe I've grasped the basics now. I dare say you'd better be careful when we're sparring together in the future. <laughs> 